in case you were wondering when I did the videos about um, <clears throat> them making maple syrup this is the little sugar shack they use to boil it and everything they've used it for a long time decades but this is the little setup they have and they would keep the sap in here um, until they're ready to boil it so just in case you were wondering the normal pathway we go through. And as you can see, this big tree is down across the path. And like I said, it rotates out. There's the lake. Like I said, it's a gloomy day outside, so not the nicest day to be at the lake. <clears throat> But it feels great to be seeing open water and being outside again. Hey guys, so we actually came out to the lake house to see how it is. And my godmother's cleaning out the chimney at the cottage. Um, obviously it's not open yet. It's not the nicest weather today. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow or another day this week. I might get the kayak out and try to do some kayaking. The neighbor, um, not at this cabin, um, <clears throat> this is my godmother's brother's cabin. Um, he doesn't really stay in here. He has a camper that he and his girlfriend stay in, but I just came down here to check and see, you know, what was going on out here. Um, since we were out here anyway, but um, that's the camper he stays in. But it's not the nicest, as you can tell, it's pretty gloomy and it's only like upper 40s tomorrow. And I think the rest of this week is supposed to be in the 60s. So I'm thinking I might um, get the kayak out and do some kayaking if the weather's nice. The neighbor at my godmother's, um, well, my godmother's sister's cottage um it's basically a family cottage so um she already has her pontoon in the water and everything so she's way ahead of us but i'm thinking tomorrow might be the day that i can finally get my kayak back out and start doing some adventuring and i plan to bring you guys along with me for some of it this year um i didn't really do that last summer but i'm thinking this year I might as well share my adventures with you guys. So I'm going to try to walk back. Um, the path through the woods has a lot of like trees and branches down. And I'll try to show you some of that too, in case you're interested. How rude. So I'm home now. Um, 
I just picked up my car from the mechanic. I had it in storage all winter and that's because last fall um, I was dealing with some issues with a battery drain on a brand new battery. So I wanted to have it looked at, but they couldn't fit me in last fall. So I just put my car in storage for the winter and I just had them check it out. Um, I was gonna go for a bike ride just now, but the bikes that we got from Meyer, um, we got two bikes and the tires are real low when you get on it. So I didn't wanna ride it with low tires. So I'll have to wait until my godmother gets the compressor out so she can fill up the tires. Um, but yeah, I just got my car back. It only cost me $45 because he couldn't find anything draining the battery. So I don't know what's going on. But he couldn't find anything draining the battery. So I guess that's a good thing. The only thing that we can think it might be is I have a little satellite radio that you plug in to like the cigarette lighter thingy. Um, and I'm thinking that could be it, but I always unplug it when I get out of the car. So it doesn't really make sense that it would be that. <coughs> so I don't know, but I have my car back. It only cost me $45 to get it inspected for him to tell me there was nothing wrong with it. Um, it's still gloomy, as you can see, and I'm getting out of breath from just walking a couple hundred yards away from the house. This is what I was talking about in that video where I was talking about like the effects of COVID after having COVID. So, anyway, I'm going to turn around and go home. My car is still running because the mechanic that I go to, or that I take my car to, is only like a mile down the road from where I live. And <clears throat> I didn't want it to, um, like it's not a good idea if you only drive a mile, it doesn't give the alternator time to charge the battery so um, I'm letting it run for a little bit before I turn it off <sighs> so anyways I think I'm gonna turn around and go home this is gonna be the end of today's video because I'm just gonna go home and relax um, my godmother's cleaning the chimney here now <clears throat> and we got some sub sandwiches for dinner um, as a treat since we're alone. Um, my godmother's two sisters, one had a doctor's appointment today and the other sister drove the one that had the doctor's appointment to her doctor's appointment. So they aren't going to be home to have dinner with us. So we got sub sandwiches as a little treat to ourselves. Um, so yeah, anyways, I am going to go back because I'm already out of breath, as you guys can very well hear. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Um, let me know if you're excited about me sharing my kayaking adventures with you this summer. Because I'm definitely looking forward to it. And anyways, I will talk to you guys next time.